Columbia, Tennessee. Tonight is the night. It's the big grand finale at the Grand Slam building. And what better way to end it than to have Farron Fox right there on the card. Oh, and Robbie Ruffin. Oh, you have to be shaking in your boots right now, buddy, because the, my boot is coming off there right in the middle of the ring. And you're going to kiss my pretty little toes right there in front of everybody in Columbia, Tennessee. Tonight, Robbie Ruffin, you are in for the embarrassment of your life. And you're probably going to be so embarrassed that you'll never, ever be able to return to Columbia. And I'm going to be there next week. The next week, we're going to go right to the new building, the Armory Recreation Center. Oh, and it's going to be exciting because Farron Fox is going to sashay right up in there. And I'm the most entertaining thing you people have ever seen, and you know it. So tonight, Robbie Ruffin, you're going to kiss my little toes. And next week, I'm going to be so pretty in the new building. Wrestling fans to another exciting edition of NWA Main Event Wrestling. Today is an hour and a half edition. Bert Prentice has been kind enough to let us have the hour and a half today to sort of inform the people what's going on in Columbia and to let our Columbia fans know exactly what's going on. Tonight, tonight, tonight is the grand finale for NWA Wrestling at the Grand Slam. After tonight, there'll be no NWA Wrestling at Grand Slam USA in Columbia. We want to have a big surprise and tell you where our new building is. But some of the guys on the internet uh, took it upon themselves to give our secret away. But we're moving to the old National Guard Armory, which is known as the Armory Recreational Center over on Carter Street. And it is actually the old National Guard Armory. Now getting to the matches, we've got Farron Fox against Robbie Ruffin. And they're in a big match tonight. And in the studio with me is the legend, Tony Paul. Welcome, Tony. About time you let me get the word in, Mike Porter. I'm so happy to be here today. There's a lot of things happening in NWA main event. I'm just so happy to be a part of it. My friend Farron Fox is in the ring right now with Robbie Ruffin. And this was a taped in Columbia just the other night. And I'm so happy to see Farron in the ring because he's a, a very entertaining wrestler. And the fans out here should really get behind Farron. But seems like to me, Mike Porter, the fans around here has been against him from day one. Well, I don't know a lot about the fans being against Farron as much as Farron being against the fans. But I'll guarantee you, Robbie Ruffin's been here with us for a little over a year now, I think. And Robbie is uh, coming out of the rookie status and climbing the ladder, but he's climbing very slowly. And that's good because he's building a good foundation, Tony. Well, I'm telling you, look at this arm bar right now. That can be a very painful hole. Farron, he knows how to apply that pressure. And... Uh, if, if you just look at Farron here, he's always, always contemplating what he's going to do next. He's always ahead of his opponent. And I know right now he's uh, going to show Robbie Ruffin what it's like to be in the ring with a true professional wrestler. Our referee for this match is Tim Humphreys. Also, Tony, don't forget Bowling Green tomorrow night, 8 o'clock at the Vet Center Entertainment Complex. Last Sunday night was our uh, debut there in Bowling Green had a good crowd. The wrestling fans got behind the wrestlers and the wrestling. They thoroughly enjoyed it. We thoroughly enjoyed them being there, and we invite them back tomorrow night at 8 o'clock bell time. That's what I want to talk to you about, Mike Porter. I see where you signed me a match with Doug Gilbert, dangerous Doug Gilbert, tomorrow night. I'm coming to Bowling Green, Kentucky. You know, a few years ago, I, I was in the ring with that guy named Jerry Lawler, and he threw a fireball, and he burnt me, and I still got scarred from it. And you, you want to go and sign me in a match with Doug Gilbert, and everyone out there knows he, he, he's good at throwing fire. I mean, and, and you put me in a match with him, and I'm telling you, I'm going to bring the beast with me, and he's going to bring a fire extinguisher because if Doug Gilbert tries to throw any fire in this match, I guarantee the beast is going to be there to spray, it, spray him down. Well, Tony, you might need that fire extinguisher because Doug Gilbert is famous for throwing that fire on his opponent. Don't forget you people in Bowling Green on Friday nights at the Vet Center Entertainment Center. You've got uh, the 21 and Up dance. 
And on Saturday night, you got the Country Jamboree. So come on up to the party place in Bowling Green and dance with J.W. and Amanda. Okay, now you see here, Fran was just over getting some advice from Gordon. And uh, this Robbie Ruffin's complaining to the referee for no reason. I mean, Farron was just talking to his manager, and he's uh, ready to go wrestle again. Are you watching the same monitor I am, Tony? Uh, that's what it looks like.